Louisiana's dry spring stressed many crops, but extreme weather conditions haven't had a negative effect on the state's sugar cane. I think we have all the prospects for a really good crop out there. We have a good population. It's a little bit on the short side, but a hike can be made up very quickly. A colder than normal winter helped to keep disease problems down, which allowed the crop to thrive. Our rust levels are very low. That's a good thing. The dry weather was also good from the standpoint of insect management, so sugarcane borer populations are low. The sugarcane borer is the major pest in cane, but a new pest that arrived in Louisiana two and a half years ago also threatens the crop. The Mexican rice borer is harder to manage than the sugarcane borer because insecticides can't kill it once it bores into the cane stalk. LSU Wax Center entomologist Gene Reagan is working on strategies to control the pest, which is found in Louisiana rice fields, but is moving toward sugarcane growing areas. It's not in sugarcane that we know about. Uh, it is uh, throughout the uh, uh, much of the, the parish of Calcasieu, and it's on the Calcasieu-Jefferson Davis line now, and it's moved about 15 miles a year. Reagan and his graduate students have conducted research in Texas where the pest is found in sugarcane to develop ways to manage it. He says control could include pheromone traps to determine the best time to apply insecticides, cultural practices, and resistant varieties. A resistant variety is not available yet, but it's something breeders are working on. Breeders recently developed a variety that can withstand cold temperatures. The variety HOCP 04838 was released earlier this year. It's probably the best variety that we've ever released from the standpoint of cold tolerance. A variety with cold tolerance could help farmers grow sugarcane north of the current sugarcane belt. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.